The Biodesign Institute expanded its research into brain diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's at a new facility at Arizona State University. Cronkite News reporter Jimmy Jackson explains its goal to bring together thousands of researchers around the world to explore treatment and detection. Arizona State University unveiled a new facility in its Biodesign Institute that leaders say will help Max advance research into Alzheimer's and other diseases that attack the brain. Joshua LeBayer, the executive director of the Biodesign Institute, says researchers from around the world are working to find treatments and detect the disease in its early stages. We have uh, scientists here who are uh, brilliant at doing uh, animal models to study the disease. And we have scientists here who are doing what's called data science looks at large batches of data, if you will, on individuals with, with this disease to see if we can discern from that patterns that are important for understanding the disease. With Arizona having the second fastest growth rate for Alzheimer's, according to the Arizona Alzheimer's Association, Ramon Velasquez, a postdoctoral student, says the facility offers the strength of teamwork. I think that this institute will definitely allow for more, even more collaborations and also uh, deciphering more about the actual disease process and hopefully finding treatments for the disease. Eric Ryman, the director of the Banner Alzheimer's Institute, says the ASU Center will be one of the largest devoted to understanding a disease that is expected to increase 43 percent over the next seven years. We would like to create a destination center for the discovery of a broader portfolio of promising ways to treat and indeed prevent Alzheimer's disease. The goal is to expand the institute to include another building. We've got a very successful institute. We've got outstanding scientists who are doing very creative and important science, and we want to continue to grow. And if we're going to grow, we need to have a place to put them. The new building has about 1,300 people and can handle several thousand more. In Tempe, Jimmy Jackson, Cronkite News. The center will house cutting edge technology like the compact free electron laser, which will allow researchers to record images of molecules changing shape.